This is Chaitanya Maladi from ENH iSecure Private Limited. As part of this demo, we are going to see how we can grant exchange mailbox permissions via Identity IQ. For this, we will be considering a use case where when an employee is disabled, the mailbox corresponding to the employee gets attached to the manager's mailbox. On this screen, we can see how the Active Directory application is configured on SailPoint. We have used the Active Directory direct connector provided by Identity IQ. Under Configuration, we can also see that IQ service has been set up. IQ service is a service that's installed on the application host as part of the connector configuration. Now let's take a look at the accounts on this application. For the purpose of this demo, we will be considering two accounts, one for the employee and for the manager. Under the details for the account ECHY1170, we can see that this identity is managed by ECHY1168. So when this account is disabled, the mailbox corresponding to ECHY1170 will be attached to the mailbox corresponding to ECHY1168. Next, let us log in to the Exchange Admin Center as the administrator and see the mailboxes. Here we can see mailboxes for both the users, the employee and the manager. Checking the details of the employee's mailbox under mailbox delegation, we can see that no other user has been granted full access on this user's mailbox. After disabling the account, the access would be granted to the manager. This is done by a, a native rule. A native rule is configured into the application via the application XML. As we can see here, we have set up a native rule called IQ service after modify. This will run a PowerShell script on the application host after any modification operation is performed. Next, let us understand the flow of the script. The script will be executed after a modification operation is performed on the Active Directory application. First, the request object is retrieved, which is available because of IQ service. Then it is checked whether the operation performed is the disabled operation or not. If a disabled operation is performed, the disabled identity is retrieved and it is checked whether this identity has a manager. In case the identity has a manager, the mailbox is attached to the manager's mailbox. Otherwise, the mailbox is attached to the administrator's mailbox. Now, let us go ahead and disable the employee's account via Identity IQ. Here, we are on the Manage Accounts page for the Identity ECHY1170. As we can see, this employee has an active application account on Active Directory. Let us go ahead and disable this account. The account was successfully disabled.
Now let us go over to the exchange control panel again and verify that the mailbox was assigned to the manager. Under mailbox delegation, we can now see that full access on this user's mailbox was assigned to the manager of this identity. Now let us log out from the administrator's account and log in to the Outlook web application as the manager. From here we can verify that the mailbox of the disabled employee is accessible to the manager. This concludes the demo on how we can grant exchange mailbox permissions via SailPoint's identity IQ. Thank you.